if you are looking to become a better trader, there's a few things that you're going to need to actually really focus on in order for you to become profitable and not just be profitable once every, you know, two or three trades, you know, when everyone gets lucky or the market is running, but to be consistently profitable when it comes to day trading. So the first thing that you're going to need to know is what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? Are you good as a scalper? Meaning do you have more success and less stress when you're getting in and you're getting out relatively quickly within seconds or minutes, or, or maybe you're someone who doesn't really like the, you know, the fast hustle and bustle action and you are looking to maybe hold trades for two, three, four hours. You're looking to be more of a larger time frame day trader. Now, so for some people that can be a lot stressful because you constantly have to sit through these highs and lows and these big peaks and valleys. For me, example, my average trade time is going to last anywhere between nine and 15 minutes, right? That's just based on my stats and my journaling. Some of my best winners have been within the first 10 minutes after placing and taking the trade. So you're going to need to understand what is your strength? What is your weakness, right? Understand your mental mindset before you go into, you know, just putting a bunch of money into a particular trade. Also, how much money do you have, right? If you have a relatively small account, the last thing you should be doing is trading things like Tesla options, Nvidia options. I understand that you see a lot of big uh, wins online with people posting all of these astronomical, you know, percentages and gains, you know, trading Tesla or Nvidia, the, the, the SPY, the triple Qs. But if you have a smaller account, you're going to really want to trade smaller premium especially if you're trading options. Look at some of the airline stocks. Look at things like Coca-Cola. Look at even a stock like Apple, right? Apple on certain days, you know, maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, typically has a lower cost of premium you could be able to get in. It's going to move with the market. It's going to be very, very fluid. So those are a couple of things that you're going to need to also learn Two, Who are you following on social media, right? If you are constantly looking for people on social media to kind of give you the answer or give you a particular level or give you the stock and entry and exit price, you're doing it all backwards, right? You need to be able to kind of confluence what someone else is saying and use your own judgment and technical analysis and be able to take the trades on your own. If you are constantly kind of seeking out the next hot stock of the day based on what everyone else on social media is saying, you are setting yourself up for failure. And number four is going to be education, right? If you don't if you can't invest into yourself, whether that means to be hiring a, a mindset coach or hiring a mentor that can teach you trading or joining a community group or kind of getting along other traders who are doing this on a day in day basis, then you're really not looking to kind of elevate your game, right? If you kind of want to do this all on your own and you want to guess and you want to you know, you want to be some hero, but you want no help and you do not want to educate yourself on what your weaknesses are and maybe potentially talk to someone who can kind of tell you, hey, you know what, you're good at X, Y, Z, you're not so good at this. So we need to kind of focus on what you're not good at because you're already good at X, Y, Z, right? If you don't want to do that and it doesn't have to be learning from me, it, there's thousands of people, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of coaches and, and, you know, people teaching this kind of information online, get with someone that kind of resonates with you, get with someone who, you know, kind of thinks like yourself, someone who, you know, you would mesh with outside of the trading space. If you can see yourself kind of getting along with someone outside of the trading space, that's probably going to be the best person to learn from. You're also going to need someone who's going to be able to shoot it to you straight, not just someone who's going to go along with your opinions and your agendas. Because remember, in trading, we all have an opinion, but it's like, you know what, right? Everyone has an opinion. It's kind of like, boom, 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 right? So you, you kind of get the analogy that I'm using here. Um, next is stay disciplined. Stay disciplined, stay focused never give up, right? I know that sounds very, very cliche, but a lot of times people come into the market, they win a little bit of money, they blow up their account and they exit. This is a very long-term gain. Even though you can make a lot of money very, very quickly when it comes to day trading, it's about staying in the game, right? Because in, in, in the end, this is a game. This is a business first, but this is also a game. You have to understand and learn how to play the game if you want to stay in this game for a long time. So it's not just about coming in today, making a bunch of money, kind of retiring tomorrow. It's coming into the markets, identifying good spots to kind of get into and doing that on a day in and day out basis, but very, very consistently. If you would like to learn more information, make sure to join the Discord. That link is down in the description box below. If you want to get access to my trading courses, my style of trading, visit evolutiontraders.com. You're going to get everything all in one. I would love to see you guys on the inside. Until next time, be safe, stay disciplined. I'll catch you guys all later.